What's going on, everybody? It is Selly. Welcome back to another episode of Sundays with Selly. If you haven't done so yet, you know the deal. Give us a like, follow, subscribe, share, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, at Navtronics. This week, we are talking about Simrad's latest Halo radar offering. Out here, they debuted at the Lauderdale Boat Show. So, I hope you got your permission slips, because we're about to go jump on board and see everything that this new radar can do. Let's go check it out, guys. Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Selly. We are down here at the Lauderdale Boat Show, and Simrad has released their new Halo 2000 and 3000 radar. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be out on the water. We've got some of the pros here from Simrad, the Navico Group, and we're going to talk about the Halo 3000 radar that we've got set up on this boat. So why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about it and what, you, what we've got going on here with this. Okay, we've got some really big changes with this new uh, radar system. With the release of the 3000, it now provides more power, more range, clarity, and a crisp uh, feel to all the edges and everything, as you can tell by looking at the screen. The 3000 gives us 130 watts of power, a range based on height, out to 96 miles. Um, it still has the functionality of being able to immediately change your settings, be it harbor mode, uh, now that we're offshore, it will go to offshore mode. And if you notice the screen, when you change the modes, what happens is the range, the gain, uh, the beam angle, all those change because they're preset for you. So it just makes running this radar that much more easier. One of the hardest uh, pieces of equipment on a boat to run in the old days was a radar system. with all the buttons and, and, and knobs and everything. Now we have made it so simple and so we've added for the 3000 now we've got a bird plus mode and the bird plus mode allows us to find birds out to six to eight miles wow which is a huge difference for a pulse compression radar we're not running a megatron and so with a pulse compression with 130 watts it gives us the ability now to locate birds out to six to eight miles so now we go out find fish and have a better you chance. find birds you find fish you know right. it's, it's it's uh it's it's an additive that, that goes together right um but it's that quick to change you don't have to do nothing you don't have to touch no buttons you don't have to do nothing other than decide where you want to be harbor mode you notice that it, it now all of a sudden the radar is spinning faster because it wants to acquire targets faster and in harbor mode let's say i'm going into a marina at night you know and i'm traveling down the intercoastal waterway i want safety i want to you know i can literally hit a marker on the bow of my boat and it'll still be on my radar Got it. So we're not, not losing it. We're not losing it. You know, in the center of it is called the bang. And on a magnetron, it's a, you know, 20 yard right. bang. On a pulse compression, it's 20 feet. So literally the radar will still show you the object as you run it over. <laughs> say, not right. But again, right up on it. Yeah. Again, you know, with the 3000, with the 130 watts, with the bird plus mode, um, it gives us the ability, you can see the radar is starting to spin faster, it's trying to get more, acquire more targets, because in the bird plus mode, you gotta, it's viewed as taking a Q-beam light, and you're shining that light, and that bird is dropping down, the mm -hmm. radar grabs it while it's in that beam, then the radar will lose it as the bird hits. Right. Bird comes back up, it grabs it again. So the actual mark of the bird is going to be there, then gone. Right. There, then gone, depending on the swipe of the radar. How quick it did it hit it? Absolutely. And so, and, and you'll tell, the machine is telling you it's going to be a really light green or light blue because the rebound coming off the target. Oh, okay. So the color is going to change a little bit. Absolutely. Go. Because you're not getting a hard surface, a hard rebound off of it. Right. You know, as you would a pylon or a boat or anything else, it gives you, it's almost the same thing as your bottom machine. Right. When you see a Size dark species, deep red, right. you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good hard bottom. You get sand bottom, it's a difference. No Got different it. than our radar. Got it. Uh, so when you're picking up these light blues, you're picking up birds like he just went away mm -hmm. and he'll come back up once that beam hits him again. Same thing out there. He's out there at four miles. He goes away. There was some birds that were working out here off this freighters. I yeah, saw I see little, little pops right yep, there. They'll, yep. they'll pop up and pop down. And so once you understand the information that the radar is giving you, you're going to be better off. You catch more fish. Right. Operate safely. You know, and, and it all goes together. And then we've also got, talk to me a little bit about, we've got colors can change for targets and stuff, right? Right. Another, another item that this, this system has is called Velocity Track. And Velocity Track is pretty neat. What it does, it tracks vessels that are in your zone. So if you have a vessel, say you're bottom fishing in the middle of the night, right. and you have a boat that's coming to your quadrant, it will immediately go to yellow. Let's see if I turn it on. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, no worries. So no, we go in here, we turn it on. Now, now we'll look for a blue vessel is a vessel leading our area. Now you'll see a yellow vessel coming at us. That vessel now is, is in our danger quadrant. So we got to pay attention to him. The but alert. Yellow. Yep, and so yellow gives you that alert. So right now we've got one, two, three, four vessels, five vessels that are kind of heading our direction. That might not be a head-on collision, but they're going to be in our area. In our area, and they're going to be in our quadrant. And so that's what we kind of look for. Once that vessel starts getting past us, it will go to red. Yep. Then it will turn around and go to blue. Once it goes to blue, it's safely out of our way. We don't, we don't care about it, about it anymore. anymore. Nope. We know it's still a boat because it's not red. It's blue. Right. But without, when you turn velocity track off, everything is red. Right. So now you got to look. You got to you, you got to study it much harder. Take some of the thought process Absolutely. out of it when you really need it. Right. Another thing that we have is we're able to track up to 50 targets at one time. Wow. So with our busy system. harbor or whatever, or, right? Right, or even out here and stuff. I can, right. I can, you know, roughly if I want to track what's going on, with people, I can turn on the track mode, mm -hmm. um, and and set it up, and it will start tracking targets automatically. Got it. So now there's one more way to stay aware. If you also notice on these AIS targets, you'll see a trail. So now we know where they've been. A little breadcrumb right, trail. Right, right, a little breadcrumb trail, but it's actually a smoke trail and it allows us to tell if he's changed course, what directions he's going in. So it takes, you know, it's just one more piece of information that the radar is giving us. More situational awareness at Absolutely. the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, the bottom line is you want to boat safely. Right. And, and that's what radars are, are mainly used for. Right. The bird option is an added caveat to the boating industry. Right. But radars were produced to be to be able to navigate inland and offshore waters safely. And safely. that's what it's all one, about. One more piece of technology. Available. One more piece of technology and, more, and just one more bit of information for you to work with. Sweet. Well, thank you very much for giving us a quick tutorial on this and walking through it. We're looking forward to getting some installs out there and getting this out on the water up in New England. If you guys want to know any more about this stuff, hit us up, leave it below down in the comments. You know the spiel, but I got to say it anyway. Give us a like, follow, subscribe, share, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, at Navtronics. And if you see me at the show, stop in and say hi. If you happen to be at the show in Lauderdale, stop into the uh, SimRad booth. They've got the radar there and they can tell you more about this and all that other good stuff. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, guys.